Acts chapter 23, verse 8. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. Now we've heard the saying about, about the Sadducees. They don't believe in anything, so you see, they're sad to see. Okay? We've heard that. But you know, there's dangers when we step outside scripture and we look to man's great sayings and man's philosophy. And yeah, the, it's good because, you know, that's helped me to, you know, with that verse, what the Sadducees believe and what the Pharisees believe and what they don't believe. But it says the Pharisees confess both. Both, that's two. Both of us are going. That's two. But the example is no resurrection, angel, or spirit. And the Pharisees confess, confess both. All right. Let's say the Pharisees, the resurrection. Well, of course they believe in the resurrection. They are around the time that when Jesus called Lazarus out of the grave and they got the report. Hey, listen, you won't believe what Jesus did in the graveyard. Really? You're not going to believe this. What? what, what? You know, there, there, was, there was this funeral procession, and it came up to Jesus. And you know that widow woman? You know, her son died. And they were carrying the beer. Jesus had the nerve to stop the, the, the funeral. And then the boy came out of the, of the coffin. You're not going to believe that. And when you... When, when the Pharisees read the story of Abraham Isaac, they believed in the resurrection that Abraham was going to kill Isaac and Abraham was going to sit down and wait for God to resurrect Isaac because Isaac was the chosen seed. Elijah had in his lifetime the ministry of resurrection. All right, that's fine. Did they believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Because when you read the Bible, uh, when you read the Bible, I should mark this one, but it just came to my mind. And let me see if I can find it real quick. Well, as far as the soldiers that were to watch Jesus' tomb, they were paid to testify something else. And that and it says that that was recorded. That was the that was the news of the day. That's the, that was the fake news that the disciples came and stole the body. And I'm just trying to find it here real quick. We won four places. <clears throat> here it is. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel and gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, His disciples came by night and stole them away while we slept. And they would come in the governor's ear. And it said in verse 15. This is commonly reported among the Jews unto this day. All right, they believe in the resurrection, but did they believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Because the gospel by now that Paul is, would be preaching it, Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. All right, they knew Jesus died. On, that, was, that was still kind of news of the day. But did they believe? There are plenty of people who believe that Jesus has died. There are plenty of people they will come up to me and they'll show me that Jesus is dead on their medallion, the crucifixion. But do you believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins and that he was buried? That's, that's the second of three parts of, of the gospel. And then on the third day, he arose again, according to the scriptures. Listen, I've met people who believe in resurrection. And deny Jesus Christ. 
And there's also angel. Well, there's angels throughout the whole Bible. And you can confess to no angels. I know a man that was on Central Avenue in Norwich, and I dealt with him. He was new age. He's in my prayer list. And he was, I mean, he said, listen, I can tell you everything about angels. And he claimed to see angels and he believed in angels and everything. Angels, angels, angels. Well, listen, Islam believes that angels visited Muhammad, uh, 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 Michael. The Mormons believe they've been visited by angels, Baroni or Bologna, whatever you want to call his name. As a Roman Catholic, I grew up, we believed in angels. Believing in angels, such as Sadducees did it, but the Pharisees did, believing in angels is not going to get you to heaven. There are religions out there, main function, main priority of their religion is angel worship. That's not going to get you to heaven. And then spirit, small s. Well, there's all kinds of, I mean, seances and ghosts and there's television programs and there's all kinds. There's the Christmas spirit. You believe in the Christmas spirit? That ain't going to get you to heaven. You believe in, in, in ghosts and that kind of spirits? I do. But that's not going to get me to heaven. So when we see, well, as far as this verse, well, sad you see, they don't, well, sad to see, too, if the Pharisees didn't believe in the resurrection, but the death, burial, and resurrection, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that Paul is trying to get out there. Um, but in verse 6, Paul says, Men and brethren, I was looking at, I'm a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, and the hope of the resurrection of the dead, I am called in question. What's the resurrection of the dead? It is the resurrection of the dead. There's the gospel. There's the dead, death. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he rose again, resurrection. Paul comes before the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And he says, listen, this is the gospel. And I believe it. And it is my hope, the blessed hope. And we get a statement here of the beliefs of the Sadducees and Pharisees. And we say, well, you know, Sadducees, because they don't believe in resurrection angels and and spirit. Well, the Pharisees did. And with the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they would still end up in hell. Whether they believed in a resurrection, a resurrection, a spirit, angels, what have you, if both or any person in the world does not put their faith and trust in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to scriptures. The Pharisees believed the same thing as the Catholics. And only the Catholic that believes on the gospel of Jesus Christ is the all in all are saved. So, you know, we come, like I said, we come up with these little things. All right, it's good. But they need a little explaining because, well, you said to see, you know, they don't believe in this. And then you get the implication, well, the Pharisees might be right with God. No, they may not be. I mean, this is an aspect, you know, well, they go to church, so they must be right. No. That doesn't mean it's right. Well, the man's a pastor and preacher of the church. He's got to be right. No. The guy's a televangelist, so he's got to be right. No. Just because a person is in a, in a situation, a position, or even because they believe. I meet a lot of people who believe they're good. They're not going to go to heaven. 
I believe a lot of people go to church. Many won't go to heaven. Many believe that what I do, witnessing and all that, is wrong. Well, that's not going to get you to heaven. It is the faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. And I said, you know, Sadducee, that helped me a little bit, but <clears throat> the Pharisees here, whether they believe in the resurrection, whether they believe in angel, whether they believe in, in spirit, if they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they are not saved. And they died with the Pharisees, went to hell. Now, also, I want you to see this verse here. Again, just real quick, real quick. It says, the Sadducees say there's no resurrection. One, neither angel. Two, nor spirit. Three, but the Pharisees confess both. Both, according to Webster's 1828 Dictionary, the two consider as distinct from others or by themselves, the one and the other. There are three aspects in that verse. Just to let you know, a little side note. Resurrect, no resurrection, angel and spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. Both is not three. It's two. But sad you see would be also the person that does not believe on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Sad you see would be they have not put their faith and trust in Jesus, but something else. Sad you see is they thought they were right and they ended up in hell. Sad you would see would be they said this prayer and they still died and went to hell. Sad to see is they spent 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years in the church. And they still went to hell. Sad to see was they just outright reject Jesus Christ. And they went to hell. Sad to see is they go door to door peddling magazines. And they still died and went to hell. Sad to see they believe that, you know, they're going to populate outer, outer space and planets if they multiple wives. Sad to see is, you know, in the name of our religion, you won't believe we're going to chop off your head and still die and go to hell. That's sad to see. Now, everybody I just mentioned had a belief, like the Pharisees. And there, and religions, there's common beliefs. Sadducees had a worse position than the Pharisees. Paul would have a better witness to the Pharisees than he would have the Sadducees, but if the Pharisees rejected Jesus Christ just as much as the Sadducees rejected Jesus Christ, they had died and gone to hell. Whether they believed or whether they didn't believe. 